Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Uh, I just want to show you a little bit of my shop. It's uh, it's, it's past nine. It's like nine ten, but I want to like make a little tour of the shop before I go home. So here's the shop. I posted a video. Uh, I think it was Monday. I was showing you my Mustang project, but right now I want to show you the shop. It's not a fancy shop, it's a small shop. I plan to upgrade this shop little by little. I need to get some uh, catch, you know, because running a, a shop is not, it's not, you don't make money like people think. You gotta spend a lot of money. You gotta work hard to try to make money. So it's not fancy, I, I need a lot of equipment, but I've been doing this for three years in this location. I started at home, but uh, thanks to God, I got Amazon setting me work now, so. I'm being staying busy with Amazon. This is like my four or five truck from Amazon, I believe. So I got another one in the other shop. So this one, the axle broke. And the uh, the axle, the control arm. So we're still waiting on the axle that come from uh, Florida. I'm here in Illinois. Because this truck, they crash so much, it's hard to find parts in stock. You have to wait a week, two weeks, sometime a month. So, this is the shop. This one here is the car that I'm doing little by little. Uh, it's a 77, I believe, or 76 uh, Caprice. Nothing fancy. It's going to be a daily driver. Or if he's not going to drive it daily, he's, it's not expensive restoration. What I mean, I'm not doing it the right way. It's supposed to be that I would love to because... When you get into a restoration like this or work like this, you have to spend tons of hours cutting metal, patching, grinding. A car like this, I would prefer to take it to the burr metal, but there's no budget in it. This one here is the 1980 Chevy K10. This truck, I bought it uh, like probably a little bit more than a year ago because I want to make a shop truck. So this truck that you see here, I got a motor in the other side that I bought uh, from uh, from a neighbor here in the shop. Uh, so I'm fixing the motor little by little. This is the motor I'm going to put on this truck. It's a 350. Uh, it's a uh, 94. I took it out of 94 uh, GMC. So, but I'm a, it was a TBI. I'm making it into a carburetor because that's the style I want to go with. So this truck is going to be red. It's gonna be all red, like a bright red with a white stripe on the side. The interior, I'm not sure, sure yet what I'm gonna do with it. But I got fenders. I got brand new fenders. I got brand new doors. That when I bought the truck, the first thing I did, bought, all, bought those parts. I got a new rockers panel. I plan to put new rockers, cap corners. This part here uh, was rusted out. I replaced it, you know, about the big old piece of patch panel that came all the way to the back. So, cause I couldn't find out the complete side for this truck, it's eight foot long. I couldn't, so I got the patch panel. It's already welded, grinded. Now I'm just gonna put a skim coat, cause I want to block it straight. I still gotta do the other side. But uh, it's a project truck I'm doing little by little, cause uh, it's a low budget truck and it's gonna be a chopped truck. But if it's done and somebody want to buy it, I might sell it. But right now, I just want to make it like a chop truck, but on low budget. You know, the, for the right price, I might sell it. But it's not it's not my plan right now to sell it, just to finish it. So I'm gonna show you the other side of the shop where I paint. Where is the other Mason truck at? So I'm here in the other side of the shop. You see the other Amazon truck, the one I'm working right now to get it done. I want to have it done tomorrow. Maybe they can pick it up Saturday or, or maybe tomorrow afternoon. I got to finish that area there. Uh, it had a small dent. I got to finish this side of the door. So that'll be something small and quick fix and let it go. So uh, I've been working late because I'm a one man shop. I just hire a guy, but he's a part time. He only come like tw twice a week. You know, I mean, uh, yeah, two days per week on the weekends, Friday and Saturday. He was here Monday and Tuesday because he was out from school, because he go to school. But he's still like a helper, he's a, a beginner. 
I'm training the guy. So he helped me withstand this car with 1500. I did the 2000 myself. And now I gotta do 2500. He's coming tomorrow, so I might put him to sand with West Sand with 2500. And then I might just start buffing or do the 3000 with the DA and polish, cut and polish, you know. So it's a 2000 Cadillac Seville. So I went with a black base from Tamco, Tamco 2021. Uh, I still gotta paint, I still gotta uh, paint the bumpers. They're inside the paint booth. I gotta prime them. I'm gonna black, black sand, and I mean west sand them, because I wanna have them smooth, because they had a lot of rock chips. So I'm gonna prime the bumper completely, because I primed so area there, but it was I was wasting primer from my other gun. And I had some left over, so I'm like, let me put it on there. But I'm gonna prime the whole bumper tomorrow. Have the guy west sand the bumper, because I wanna fix so much, uh, some little stuff that I see. This part here, I also wanna prime it and sand it down. The same thing with the rear bumper, you know. Car was painted before, and they use uh, single stage paint. When I put the DA, I went through the paint quick. There was not enough build, you know, on that, on that paint. So these are some parts that I painted for that car. They still need to be wet sand and polished. And this here is a 1987 Suzuki Samurai that I'm doing for the customer slash, you could say a friend, he called me friend, but everybody's friend in this business. So I'm trying to finish this car so I could get it out of here, make room. So last thing I need to do is sand this at the metal glaze, paint this area, paint the firewall, paint the fenders, and then start putting everything together. Oh, and I need to paint the bumper, but I go black. You know, but orange, those are the only thing I need to paint is right now is the fenders. And put it back on and the firewall. And then I'll put it on door. I'll, I'll put the doors, I'll put the hood, I'll put the fenders, bumpers. But then the customer is going to do the interior, you know, wiring, door latches, all the stuff. He'll do that. So this is the 87 Suzuki Samurai. He got a, a Mazda motor, it's a Rory motor. I'll show you in another video because right now it's covered. I don't want to take all the other stuff off. But uh, this is it. This is the my small shop, you know. So I hope you guys subscribe to my channel. I hope you guys hit like. And I'm going to try to post more video. I'm going to try to make more video. So just hit subscribe, hit like, share my videos. I plan to start making more video of the project as I go, you know, especially like this one is already too late, but I'll post video when it's almost together. And then uh, the Mustang I showed you the other day, I'm gonna post video when I start with that one. The 80 Chevy K10, I'm gonna put video also. So feel free to subscribe, that way you get stay on, uh, on track with what's going on here in the shop, you know? Right now we don't have a you know, I don't have a fancy paint boot, but I want to get me paint boot where it's like probably 14 by 24. This one's right now is like 12 or 13 by 20. But it's a cheap paint boot that I just got to start the business. But I want to upgrade it because sometimes when I put big trucks inside here, I can paint. You know, I don't have to paint one side at a time. But I cannot paint the whole entire truck at once. And I want something where I can paint a bit more comfortable. I can put a car there, paint the whole car. But I still, you know, I don't feel comfortable because I feel too close to the wall. But it was something that I needed to do to start the business. You know, when I moved here three years ago, I started out of my house in 2013. You know, at the end of 2013, we could say 2014. But now I need to get, to get, uh, keep growing. You know, I, I want to get a lift in the other side. That's like a two post lift. And maybe later on the frame machine or a small frame machine nothing big because the space here in this shop you can see is unlimited we got a wall here and then we got a wall it's like 24 inch I mean 24 feet wide by I believe 66 long so we had the wall in between so it kind of sucks because we cannot work as comfortable as I would like to but that's not the demand around here for shops are high so you don't find shops available or cheap or the size I need you know but 
this is working for me so far so I'm gonna be doing more stuff here I'm gonna be doing cars here and I just hope you guys share this video I hope you guys subscribe I hope you guys keep watching because you're gonna see the how the shop is gonna take a turn it might take little by little but you guys gonna see how the shop from almost a plain shop had a lift had a nicer paint boot if it's not here and I move to another place well it'll be in another place but if not it's gonna happen here little by little there's gonna be transformation I'm gonna start buying better equipment so I can keep doing better job you know because the equipment help but for now this is the tour thank you for watching I appreciate you all you guys are subscribing to my channel because uh, this helped me put my name out there for the business you know nano car restoration is the name of the business my uh, f our YouTube page is NCR Auto that's the initial from the business nano car restoration but uh, the, I got a Facebook page is nano car restoration LLC I got Instagram page is called the same nano car restoration LLC so you guys can follow us there hit like on uh, on Facebook and then you guys gonna be able to see all the work I post there I post photos there videos of the cars I paint blah blah you know but here in YouTube I want to make a video of the shop what's going on you know instead of being picture like Facebook more like video of the cars I'm working on so I hope you guys like this video, nothing fancy, but uh, it's my first couple of videos, so I want to keep growing, I want to keep learning how to make better videos, and then uh, later on I'll give me a better camera, right now I'm using my cell phone, but I gotta start somewhere here on Facebook. I don't plan to be famous guy, I just want to show my work like many people do out there that show their work, just to, you know, show my name that I'm here, anybody need work? I'm here. You guys, thank you for watching and uh, good night.